we I... have no credible evidence that there is any association between exposure to the novel coronavirus or having COVID-19 and sudden unexplained death. So we do have, you know, a lot of information about people with epilepsy. Fortunately, we are in very close contact with our Chinese colleagues, for example, as well as our Italian colleagues. And we've been quite reassured with what we've been told uh, from those providers in terms of them seeing actually minimal problems uh, with people with epilepsy, as opposed to everybody else. We understand that, you know, they're unfortunately, um, COVID-19 in some people can get very severe, but that's not, you know, that, that's a risk we all, we all have over our heads. Just add to that, that for anyone living with epilepsy, there is a very rare risk of sudden unexplained death in epilepsy. But, you know, we all need to take care of ourselves and, and, um, and be cognizant of that and talk to your provider at a time that's appropriate for that visit to know what your risk is. And then um, do what you can to maximize or improve your seizure control. So we mentioned it earlier, not missing your medicines. You know, have a way to get help if you, if you have seizures, particularly at night. Um, you know, are you eating well? Are you sleeping well? What are the kinds of things that might trigger your seizures? And what can you do to try to avoid and minimize that? And so that kind of gets into one of the triggers for seizures is when you're sick. So if you do catch COVID-19 or you have the flu or anything and you have a fever, you may be at greater risk for seizures. So again, you want to take care of yourself to prevent exposure. If you get sick, take care of yourself to minimize all those um, factors that could also aggravate your seizures. So I, I do have one, one, I guess, piece of reassuring news, and that is that uh, you know, our hospital in New York, NYU, takes care of many, many people with, with complex epilepsy. And New York has been, as everybody knows, particularly hard hit with um, COVID-19. If COVID-19 was making everybody with epilepsy have more severe seizures and uh, you know, dire situations, we would have the hospital right now flooded with people with epilepsy and COVID-19. And actually that is not mm. happening. It's not happening. So that is very reassuring from our perspective. 